Hey, hey, what's up everyone and thank you for checking out ATW Travels. Uh, welcome to Costa Maya where we decided to do something different in port and to explore the charming streets of, of the town by renting a golf cart for the day. We made reservations with the Maya Hual Red Shirt golf carts uh, because we had seen all of their uh, good reviews online. So the uh, the Maya Hual red shirts uh, golf carts are uh, they're located right outside the port area past all the shops and the pool areas. Now be careful because there are a couple of other places that rent golf carts but you want to make sure that you go to the one that says red shirt Maya Hual and they're wearing all uh, red shirts. Hi friends we just made it to the red shirt shirt golf. Maya Hual. Golf carts, golf carts, yes. They're the ones with the fully red shirts. Yes. They're the ones to go. They're the official ones, and um, there was the little hut back there, and we got our golf cart, and we have our um, map, so we're excited. We're gonna see how it goes. They're really nice because they do provide you with a map that shows you all of the businesses that they work with, and so it's a good reference to know where to go and which places to to avoid. And we're off. Okay. So driving the golf cart for the first time in Costa Maya was actually pretty easy and a lot of fun. There, there were hardly any vehicles on the roads and you just had to worry about uh, avoiding the potholes on the streets and then uh, they have uh, speed bumps at every intersection so you just had to be careful with those but it was, uh, it was really fun. Hey, we, we come back. I love the swings. <laughs> you have food here? Yes. Okay. See? Okay. Oh yeah, look, it's nice. That's it's shaded. Nice. It's shaded. Oh, I like this one. We'll be the only ones here. Yeah. We drove past the Playa Luna and all the way up to the Chunky Monkey Beach area, but then we headed back to Playa Luna. The, the road uh, after that part, uh, after Chunky Monkey, gets pretty bumpy and it's, uh, they don't recommend that anyone continues there with, with the golf carts. Look at the beautiful water. I love it here. This is giving me like a whole new vibe of Costa Maya because normally we've, never seen we've only it, stayed so. stayed careful. We've only stayed in the port, which is nice. But once you do the birds and the pool, it's like, nah, you know, then they're done that. But this is awesome because I think every time you come, you could actually like go to a different resort. So, and the resorts are literally you walk into the water. So now I think I'm liking Costa Maya a lot differently than I have in the past.
The Little Mermaid in the Sea. I love it here. And this is, yeah, this is uh, Playa Luna. Yep. It's a very nice place and uh, we got really lucky. It's very different from the weather yesterday. The water's yeah. calm. It's clear. The, it's super, super clear. And it's really nice. It's a nice place. They're cleaning up the beach from the seaweed. We're the only ship in port today, so it's not crowded at all. Yeah, and, and you have a really good view of There's our the ship Ghibli. over there. And this water is really shallow all the way up to where those posts are. You can pretty much stand. And they have kayaks that are free for rental or free to use. One person and two passenger kayaks. And then there's a massage lady. And they got hammocks and there's our golf cart right here. This is our golf cart number 29. Andrea and I both got a massage right there and it was super relaxing and it was $30 for a half hour session. And they did have a menu where you could order different foods but we only had a couple of drinks over there. After leaving Playa Luna, we made our way over to the most popular place in Costa Maya, the, the Crazy Lobster, and it was just a few minutes away. Now, like I had mentioned previously, driving around the golf cart was quite fun and, and easy, and you didn't have to worry about getting lost because there were basically just a couple of main roads with all the biz where all the businesses were located. <laughs> Now you'll see the guys from Crazy Lobster standing outside the beach resort and they're easy to spot with their with their yellow shirts. Uh, they'll have you park on their premises and then the parking there is free and then they'll have a, a guy that will walk you over to your table or your beach chairs depending on where you want to sit. So we sat uh, at a table because we were going to have lunch there. Here's the Carnival Jubilee. We're the only ship in port today. And we are at Crazy Lobster. Again, the water is really nice, it's clear. It's a very, very, very popular place. So it's uh, noon right now. We just left uh, Playa Luna as we had a couple of beers there. And we came here and we're gonna eat lunch over here. Enjoy the day and maybe, maybe get in the water for a little. And we ordered some drinks there and then we also ordered some uh, food. Uh, we had the uh, shrimp tacos which were really good and they are uh, pretty generous with their portions. And so after a fun-filled day with the golf cart and the beach, uh, we made our way back to the cruise port and then returned the golf cart. Uh, for a deposit, uh, you can either leave $50 uh, or your sale and sign card, and then they'll return it to you whenever whenever you return the golf cart. So we had left our sale and sign card and we, we didn't have any issues. Then on the way back, it was funny because these uh, other two golf carts wanted to race us. And back on the ship, we che checked out the ropes course above us and then saw the show Soulbound.
And so for dinner, we tried out Chibang for the first time ever, and that place was so good. Uh, the menu is basically half Chinese and half Mexican, and then you can pick from different options from, from either side. We tried out the Chinese options, and they were, uh, they were amazing, especially the Hakka noodles. Now, th this is normally a paid specialty restaurant, but on the inaugural season, it, it was complimentary. And that night, they had the Mardi Gras show, and because it was at the center stage, we wanted to make sure that uh, we had some good seats. So we got there a little bit early, and we got front row seats, and we got to see the Rio Carnival show once again. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please stay tuned for the rest of our Carnival Jubilee series with Mahogany Bay next. Uh, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and we thank you for, for watching. Until next time, remember to enjoy your travels. It's your journey and it's your story.